Welcome to the lab, everyone. Today we're gonna to talk about anatomical position. And this is a really super important topic because everything else in AMP builds upon this. So let's go. So anatomical position is a reference. It's the starting point upon which everything else is built upon as far as directional terms go. And when you're learning these A and P terms, you will reference them to anatomical position. So what is that? So let's start off by looking at Woody, our human biped example. Anatomical position means that you are standing erect, you are facing forward, arms are at your side and then the palms are facing forward and then the feet the feet are slightly apart towards the head is going to be the cephalid region when you go towards the head or upwards that is also known as superior so this is superior or cephalid opposite of that towards the feet or downwards that is going to be inferior or cauded the belly side is referred to as the ventrum, okay, or the venter. You might also see that term as well. The venter is going to be anterior, meaning towards the front. So especially from a sagittal view like this, when we're saying something is anterior, it's on this side of the body. And then opposite of that is going to be the dorsum or the posterior side. So again, we have superior or cephalid inferior or cauded, anterior or ventral, posterior or dorsal. A little memory trick to think about, this applies more so to animals. Think of where a dorsal fin is on an animal. It's on their backside. So make sure that you know anatomical position, especially as it refers to bipeds because we are in a human anatomy and physiology course. But let's make sure that we understand the differences between um, the biped and the quadruped, just in case you, like uh, we use here at um, our institution, uses a quadruped for dissection purposes. So let's take a look at the specific directional terms for our quadruped. This is the back side, which is still referred to as the dorsum, so we would also call this the dorsal side. You'll notice that the dorsal side is upwards, so this is also the superior side of the animal. Here is uh, the head, so we call that the cephalid side, but it's also towards the front, so that's why this would be anterior. The tail end is what we call the caudal end or the cauded, and so this is going to be posterior. And then the belly side, which is referred to as the ventrum, is going to be inferior. So we have dorsal slash superior, the opposite, which is ventral slash inferior, anterior slash cephalid, and then the opposite of that is posterior slash uh, caudal. All right, so let's do a little review of the quadruped and the biped side by side. That way you can compare and contrast. It's a lot easier to do that. So remember, towards the head or upwards means superior. So on the biped, this is superior, but it's also cephalid because this means the head. On the biped, it's still superior, but what's the different term? Dorsal. So very different, okay? Opposite that, we have the inferior side towards the bottom or towards the feet. This is the caudal region on a biped. On our quadruped here, opposite of the superior slash dorsum is going to be the inferior slash ventrum, the belly side. If we were to turn our biped sideways like this, Remember that towards the front is going to be anterior slash ventrum, but on our quadruped, it's still anterior, but because now the head is in the anterior direction, it's, uh, excuse me, cephalid. And then the opposite side of that, which is the dorsum, our back side, that is going to be posterior, again though, on the uh, quadruped, the back side, which is still posterior, is going to be the tail end, which we refer to as caudal. 
Whenever you become really familiar with anatomical position, go ahead and start adding the regional terms and the directional terms to that knowledge. Then watch this video right here to help prepare you for our next lab. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Please hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. See you next time.